Hey everyone, this is Kim with Abundant Life Tarot and today I'm doing a video or rather tonight I'm doing a video on the decks that I am using or plan to use for love readings. Um, what spawned this little video was I was celebrating my birthday today. Yay, happy birthday to me. And I was uh, with my husband at this little local bookshop um, that had a little uh, used tarot and oracle deck section. And I was looking at some of the decks and the deck that I got today was the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And I was like, hmm, I really would like to have just another option for my love readings. And this seemed like to a great option so I got to look at the cards at the store and I snapped this right up as soon as my husband said I could get this and then I also got the Tarot de More, Tarot de More, A Fine Love, Sex and Romance in the Cards. I got this book as well. It's fitting. My birthday is February 10th which is just four days prior to Valentine's Day so um, I've always, I've loved love, all forms of it, not just romantic. I don't like commercialized um, Valentine's Day per se, but I love the idea of celebrating love. So, um, so this would be a good book that I'm going to be checking out um, this month, and I'm not going to do a review today. I just thought in the spirit of love. I'll be reading this book, not just referencing it, but I'm going to read it cover to cover and get a little more insight. So let's look at my Oracle decks that I have first um, for my love readings that I always use for my love readings. The first Oracle deck is one that I've showed you guys time and time and time again. I also use it for my regular life readings as well. But nine times out of ten, this deck is going to be used for my love readings. And that is the Dear Heart Oracle. I love this deck. I mean, it's just so... I don't know. I, the artwork speaks to me. The keywords, the energy from it. The, you know, it, it's a great deck. Retreat. And then balance. I'm going to look at some heart-centered kind of cards. So here's conflict with the heart all inflamed and a knife stabbing through it. Let's see. I like healing. Um, protection. Crystallizing there. Shadow cell. And the spirals letting go darkness wounded cleanse secrets it's just some examples there so that deck I like to use in the beginning of a a bigger reading um, it can be used as a standalone it is currently out of print but uh, the deck creator uh, pan art um, well I got that deck on Etsy and so check out search by pan art um, in Etsy for more information about the deck I believe that's a great place to start or the website pan art I will link all of the deck uh, creators information um, for the Dear Heart Oracle. Okay, so we have next the Romance Angels. I talk about this one frequently too. This is by Doreen Virtue and um, with Doreen Virtue's Oracle deck I'm not so fond of the images here's passion 
but I do like the keywords and I don't mind that the keywords are here because sometimes I don't feel like necessarily looking at the guidebook or really need to look at the guidebook. So but am I a huge fan of this type of artwork? No. Um, look, I like the keywords here. Let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. It's like specific enough in the reading where that's a hit that will be able to help you go off onto another or go into another doorway um, in the reading. And it's, it's specific enough that whoever you're doing the reading for, or if you're doing a reading for yourself, you're like, wow, that's really speaking to me. Give your relationship a chance. Heart to heart conversations. Attraction. chemistry I said finances and career mm -hmm. let's see if I can find something soulmate flirt free yourself separation children, new love, religious factors, mm, love yourself first. So I'm trying to find, this could be the one, stay optimistic about your love life. Pay attention to the red flags. Codependency. <laughs> Release your ex. Deception. Reconciliation and keep an open mind. So that's some of the Romance Angels Oracle deck and I really do like using this deck in love readings. I, It is one of my top go-to's when it comes to doing readings for others and sometimes reading for myself. But I have been using it a lot and I wanted to have a reprieve so that's why I got this one. So let's this is kind of going to be an unboxing for me of the Vintage Wisdom Oracle because this is a new deck to myself. So I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate tarot video. I just thought of that now. I'm going to do a separate tarot uh, love reading video um, for the sake of time. So many of you probably have seen this deck. This is a U.S. Games deck. Uh, oracle deck and this will be my first u.s games oracle i don't believe i have another u.s games oracle i think i only have their tarot decks okay here's the guidebook which is only in english it has a few spreads in the back it talks about using a, or not using the guidebook um decent size not massive but I'm looking forward to using using this deck for love readings. Here's the backs, which at first I was like, mm, I don't know about that, but now I don't really mind it. And look at these cards. It says discernment. This is why I think I can use these for um, love readings. Awakening. Balance. Healing. Intuition. I love that one. <laughs> Tell me the truth. Truth card. Let's see. Union. Wisdom. Mm -hmm. K. 
kindred spirits, playfulness. I really think this signifies the keyword um, listening. Adventure. I love this collage style. And it's going to go very nicely with my stretch tarot. I wanted to to show I love I think I'm gonna love using the stretch tarot this deck. And I had one more that I was gonna Oh, in my white rabbit oracle. <laughs> love. And it's kind of funny because I did not think this was really my style of art or my preferred art style, but the more I look at it, the more I like it. New beginnings. Intention. I love that one. Freedom. Power, patience, release, like that, surrender, dreams, cover art, expression, love that one. Transition, gosh, harmony, okay, oh, I love strength, I'm all about great keywords, perception, because sometimes I just need only the words to, to take me there, let's see. Okay, I won't continue on with that. But um, yeah, so that is the Vintage Wisdom Oracle. And like I said, it's going to be used, I think. I'm called to use it already towards love reading. So I've just got to clear it since it is second hand. Um, cleanse it, if you will. Okay, the next one that I use a lot for love readings, but sometimes I use for regular um, readings as well, is the Heal Yourself Reading Card. I, oh, it says Intuitive Guidance to Transform Your Soul. And here's the guidebook. I love this deck so much. I've done a review of this, so if you want a more in-depth review, then you can check it out um, in my, I believe, deck review section or deck discussion section. Um, but I know there's, you know, a couple of things about the deck that would bother some people, and I can get that. Overall, though, it is highly intuitive. The messages are clear. You don't necessarily need the guidebook, but the guidebook is amazing. Um, here's Victim Consciousness, Dreams, Pride, Letting Go, and something like Temptation, Take Your Mask Off, Sexuality, Say what you mean. Another pay attention to the signs card. Sadness. Sexual arts. Hole in the soul. And self love. And like I said, if you want more of a discussion about this deck, all about this deck, I do have videos on it. There's one solely for it. 
but I also, it's always in my favorites video and it reads very nicely by itself as a standalone reading or amongst many other tarot and oracle decks in a bigger spread. And then lastly, I have my white rabbit oracle, which I would say this, I show, I'm showing this one last because I use this one about 50% of the time in love readings and 50% of the time in all other readings. But the other ones I plan and I do with the exception of the vintage wisdom oracle, because that's new to me, but all the others I do use primarily, um, for love so there you go here's the backs so I've done a video already for this deck I'm just gonna go through cards so I like another kindred spirits card let's see here is love I got this deck on Etsy Discernment. So, solitude. So clearly, I have a style. The shadow. When it comes to my cards and the artwork, I gravitate towards. I love harmony. Okay. I'm trying to find the other love cards in here. Here is desire. Romance. Balance. Confidence. Passions. Hmm. And secrets. So, there you have it. Those are my love oracle decks. And I am so excited to bring the Vintage Wisdom Oracle into the rotation, into the fold of my love reading. So, um, keep a lookout for that coming down the pike, I'm sure. Anyways, um, stay tuned for my um, tarot decks for love video. And thank you so much for watching. Many blessings to all of you. And until the next video, bye.